Hey everyone, I'm Weston Summers. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you check out some other videos while you're here. Today, this is going to be a video on the Phoenix TK75 and the appropriate or the good 18650 batteries. Okay, the Phoenix TK75 is a very high performance flashlight and it demands a very high performance battery. I'm not going to badmouth any products in this video, but I would like to tell you which products are going to serve you better and hopefully after this video you can make a better decision on how you want your hard earned dollars to go. Okay, the comparison between these two batteries are going to be between the Ultra Fire, these are both 18650 batteries, or 18650, the Ultra Fire 3000 milliamps, and the Nightcore 3400 milliamps. Okay, the Nightcore batteries are a recent purchase <coughs> because I was getting less than desirable use out of my flashlight. These UltraFire batteries have less than 10, maybe 15 charge discharge cycles. As some of you can probably tell, I live out in the country and we go shine and use our flashlights a lot while we're riding. Okay, all batteries have been fully charged in a Nikkor IntelliCharger I4 4 bay top of the line charger. Works great doesn't get too hot, I have no issues with mine. It's a little hard to load the batteries sometimes, but it balances the LiPo cells just fine and nothing's wrong with them. Okay, for this demonstration, I'm going to shine the light at the back of the room here and I'm going to move out of the way and we're going to start off with the Ultra Fire and then we're going to move to the Night Core and hopefully you'll be able to see a broad difference. I'm going to turn off the lights when I go to shining things. Okay, now, the bay here, I'm going to run it with four batteries. I'm not going to run it with two to try and trick the discharge cycle or anything like that. And we're going to do it. Now, the Ultra Fires, from day one, this light is advertised to stay on 15 minutes before the heat, the heat sensor in it steps it down from turbo mode. Somewhere between 8 to 15 minutes, it'll stay on turbo, which is 2600 whatever lumens. You can read the specs on it before it turns out. It will be almost too hot to hold and to save the head the light will automatically shut itself down and it will continue to step down. The light is supposed to run 200 hours, I do believe, on low, which is 200 lumens, so you get a lot of light out of that. With these ultra fires, even the first full discharge and charge cycles, I was getting less than two minutes on turbo, continually tricking the light to get it back up to turbo, on high, I had less than less than 20 minutes. It wouldn't even run long enough for us to get something out of the truck while I had it sitting there, and it would continually step down. This is about the 10th charge cycle or plus on them, and I fully charged them. They're no longer balancing. They flash in the charger. They're not they're not working, and hopefully they'll run for a moment here. But these batteries. They're cheap for a reason. If you, if you want to spend your hard-earned dollars and you, you're going to go out and you're going to trust your light like I did and take it on a trip with you, then you're going to want the good batteries. So with that, I'm going to turn it on low. I'm going to shine it right here in my hand. You can see it's already flickering. If you can see that, it'll have a flicker in it. We're going to go low, medium. There it goes. It's already stepped down. There's turbo. There's high, low. These batteries just came off the charger for this video. Now, I can take two cells out which are even worse than the other two cells and it will stay, I can trick it and it will run on turbo for a few minutes. There's the heat, there's high, low, medium, now it's all the way down. And you can see it's got a flicker in it. Now I will turn off the lights to show you that it does put out the amount of light for a, for a minute, but there's really nothing to show you. So I'm going to turn the lights off and we'll shine it at the back room here. It's on low, let me turn this light number two off. All right, I'm going to step up to the camera here. There's the back room. Hopefully you can see that. I'll shine it right at the door. And we're going to go medium, up, high, turbo. You see, I'm pushing the button. Listen, and it won't even stay. There it goes. Now it's stepped down again. I'm not. There it goes. It's all, I didn't touch anything. It's down to low, and it's flickering. I surely hope that's showing up in the video. There's turbo. It's already stepped down. There it goes again. Okay, I'm going to turn this light back on if I can find a switch, and I'm going to set this one down and put it on number two. 
Once again, I would like to reiterate that these, those batteries are less than a month and a half old. I haven't had the flashlight very long. I use it all the time. It's great. And they will not hold a charge or discharge cycle. I, don't, I have them numbered now so I can track which ones are not balancing in the charger, but it doesn't matter. There's not a bad bay in my charger. I've swapped them left to right, fully discharged them, charged them again, have run them to half discharge, nothing. This is the Ultra Fire 3000 milliamp. These batteries, you know, are four to eight bucks a piece. Sometimes you can find packs of them for that. Okay, there's a reason they cost that. Okay, stepping up to the new Nightcore 3400 milliamp battery, 3.7 volts, both of these are the same. These batteries have already had 10 discharge and recharge cycles on them. They are unbelievable. All right, I'm going to clip both these in here. I've swapped all of them between the bays and the charger. I'm running a Nightcore charger, and I've, sw I've run it with two, I've run it with four, and it runs amazing. As a matter of fact, I think the light gets a little too hot before it steps down. Here we are. I'm going to screw this together without messing it up on camera, and I will turn this light on low. This light, I haven't tested the fully run time because it has yet to run out. I'm scared that the batteries are going to overheat the thing. All right, it's on low. I'm going to turn it off again. Here we go. It's already on low, so I don't kill anybody. Here's low. Low. You can tell it's a perfectly uniform beam. There's not a flicker yet to be experienced. If it happens, it'll be on the camera. There's low, medium, high. Here we'll shine up at something not so bright. There's high. Then turbo. Now, that's basically daylight. I'm even going to let it run for a second to show you there's no flicker whatsoever. That's up at the ceiling with a little bit of bleed. There's the camera sensing it. Here it is shined at the little reflective door. The camera should darken down. And if you want to see what the top of the light looks like, I mean, the camera can't sense it, but it's exceptionally bright. I wish we had a good clear night where I could go show you how far it goes, but my camera equipment is not up to par. No flicker whatsoever. Buy the Nightcore batteries. They run somewhere between $20 to $29 a piece, and they are worth every penny. Don't skimp on them. You've already got a high-performance flashlight. I'm going to step that off. Step it back down here. You've got a high-performance flashlight. Buy a high-performance battery so that you get the use you want out of your light. Light's back on. Here we go. I'm going to shine it in my hand just like I did the other one. Hopefully the camera can see that. I probably look like I really need a tan. The Nightcore batteries are worth the money. The only other battery I have experience with, my dad has the same flashlight, and we have a set of Panasonics. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to rate the Ultra Fires at a 0.5, maybe a 1. If you just needed an emergency set of batteries to keep charged and yours held a charge, you could throw them in the truck. The Panasonics are an easy 8 plus. They are wonderful. We haven't done a runtime comparison and these night cores are probably an 11 to a 15 on a scale of 1 to 10. Now you may think that's a little funny but when you go when you're going shining for a few hours and you want the light to be able to work you're going to want a high performance battery. So hopefully that makes you buy the right battery and spend your hard-earned dollars better than I did. Don't buy a couple sets of the Ultra Fires. Buy a couple sets of the, of the night cores. These are going to end up going into the recycle bin. They're not worth me keeping anymore. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Ask me any questions you want to. I'll do my best to answer them. And thank you so much for watching. Y'all have a great one. What's that out?